forgiveness. Indeed, we can confirm that Umkonto Siso has been registered as a political party. There's a number of requirements that an aspirant party must meet before it is registered. The first of which is that it must publish its identifiers in the government gazette if it intends to register nationally. By identifiers, we mean the name of the party, the logo of the party, and the abbreviated name of the party. Having met the requirements, uh, the party was registered on the 7th of September by the chief electoral officer. There was no objections to the registration of that party. However, as a registrar of parties, the Commission also looks to satisfy itself that the identifiers to be registered do not offend those of an already registered political party. I bow down to a former president, Jacob Zuma. The way he plays this chess game, the way he knows the political movement, the way he knows what to do, the next step, I really do bow down to a guy, you understand? And the nicest move that he did is when he took away MK from ANC, you understand? But now, my biggest question is, who's the new president of MK? Because when we were listening to the news, Jacob Zuma said, and I quote, I'm going to vote for MK. He did not say that I have started the party called MK. So that is another question that I'm asking. But now I think the hope has came back to people that they did not know what to vote for, especially the ones that they were at ANC, but they were following Zuma. But we needed to look at this thing with a very sharp eye. Guys, let's talk about this.